Hey, back from vacation, a little jet lag, just out for a walk. Um, read some interesting studies. Yeah, I, sometimes I read them on vacation. And uh, one was on the overall benefits of exercise. This was in rats, though, um, with regards to tissue responses, uh, tissues such as heart, liver, spleen, kidneys, etc. And uh, one of the papers uh, showed that there were differences in every single tissue of the body, um, including, including the intestine. Um, and these were not subtle or small differences. So, uh, you know, it just shows, once again, uh, the benefits of exercise are clearly uh, more dramatic than you think, right? It's not just your heart. Uh, it's not just your blood vessels or blood pressure. It's not just to prevent certain diseases. And just because you may not have a health problem, it certainly doesn't mean you don't have to do it. Now, uh, some interesting thoughts here on that. Um, you know, Daniel Lieberman wrote in uh, his book, Exercised, um, I think the subtitle was something like uh, how we evolved to do something, uh, how we did not evolve to do something. It's actually really good for us, uh, something to that effect. And it's true. Um, uh, but, you know, his uh, text really spoke to the fact that, you know, humans did not evolve to exercise, which is true, right? Uh, who evolved to run on a treadmill um, or work out in the gym? Uh, with a bunch of muscle heads, no one. Uh, but we evolved to move. Um, you know, we evolved over millennia uh, to seek food, seek shelter, construct shelter, uh, forage, uh, protect ourselves, etc. cetera. Um, and once we did that, we sat still, uh, which is another reason why uh, humans tend to favor sitting still because if we're not in search of something or seeking something, then we're sort of incentivized to do nothing. Uh, that's an evolutionary pressure that's built in deep within uh, the ancient parts of your brain. Uh, so it's sometimes hard to fight that. But, uh, you know, in all these studies that show uh, sedentary versus active people, and they mention that the active people are the intervention group. Um, I just think that that's wrong, period. Um, the intervention is doing nothing uh, because we were engineered to move, right? If you're gonna compare a working engine to a rusty engine, you're not gonna say that the intervention was running the engine. I mean, Christ, you built that thing to move. So, that's an issue because we're, we shouldn't consider uh, people that are exercising um, as seeking something different or special. Um, they're seeking to replicate what our body was meant to do over time. Um, now, it brings up another point. Uh, many studies talk about uh, moderate physical activity, right? What is moderate physical activity? Uh, it boils down to the fact that it's walking, fast walking, um, or just walking over some hills like we're on right now. But that's it. It doesn't mean you have to get your heart rate to 150. Look, is HIT better than walking? Sure. As long as you're healthy enough, why not? It is. But do you have to? No. Uh, and I've said this a million times, but the majority of you out there don't want to sweat, don't want to be short of breath, um, and you don't want to set aside an hour a day to go to a gym uh, and walk on a stupid treadmill. But and then that's fine. But it doesn't mean you can't throw on a pair of sneakers, leash up the dog, and go out for a walk because. Uh, all these interventions that talk about the benefits of quote-unquote exercise are really talking about the benefits of movement. Um, yes, there are specific ones that will function 
around HIT and other running or cycling measures or sports such as tennis. However, the majority just focus on movement. Um, so don't worry, don't think you have to push too hard or get too uncomfortable. And you don't need to move all that much, right? Um, again, I give out prescriptions in the office you know, for walking uh, twice a day, 15, 20 minutes. You know, that's three decent songs or, you know, half of a short podcast in the morning, the other half in the afternoon. Um, and it really doesn't take that long to walk 15 minutes. Uh, and after a while, uh, you're going to enjoy it. And based on these studies and how are you going to feel? in six months you are going to be a different person in every tissue of your body and your brain and in how you feel bye